Jedi fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today on the Alpha Experimental Series. Um, so last episode, I... Well, I didn't really quickly. I moderately okay speed built a ugly SV, but, you know... And, oh, there's one of those nasty critters over there. See that? You can just, those red glowing, the real bright red glowing are those cr critters. I don't think I got anything that I can zoom in on. I wonder if I can make, yeah, who cares? Okay, uh, today, <clears throat> excuse me, what I want to do is I have been making a bunch of stuff. Um, well, not a bunch, really. Actually, not much at all, really. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Okay, uh, all I actually all I made was just um, ammo box, sim, sentry guns, and a bunch of ammunition. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to put these sentry guns on the roof because I don't want to leave this thing completely unprotected so I mean it's something they have a pretty good range and I can fit four of them up here no problem right so I'm just gonna do that for now I just don't want any stray drones to just come by while I'm out adventuring and completely obliterate this thing. So these things supposedly have a range of 300 meters and then minus the uh, uh, atmospheric pressure. So whatever that is going to reduce it to. I guess I could jump into one, right? Can I do that? Let's see. Need in either from the cockpit or passenger seat. Really? Okay, so I can't really control it, but that's okay. It's self-controlling. I'm going to get rid of the predator warp uh, turret. Is there something? Mounted weapon, thruster, generator. I don't think there's any CVs on this planet. I think I would have encountered it already. <clears throat> um, that'd be harsh, though. Don't count it out. I just maybe I'm too far away. Uh, okay, so turret mounted weapon, alien, other faction doesn't really matter, but that should give me drones and like Xerax. Okay, so let's install the. Um, there it is. Get this in. Mm. Actually, we'll put that somewhere where it's not going to just get nuked right away. And I think they're airtight anyway, aren't they? So if I... Uh, airtight true, yes. Okay, so I mean, not that big of a deal. I could, I could like pop out the ceiling. I could pop out that one and replace it with the yeah let's do that <clears throat> let's do that so i'm trying out some different decongestants uh they should be kicking in pretty quick here the ones that i had the last couple days would just knock me on my butt hence no uh <laughs> no video um yesterday um so yeah <laughs> oh well uh let's put this in get this in we can just put it there put the ammo in it so let's put a thousand actually let's put two thousand in I don't, I, I don't need personally more than too much more than that right now okay let's check on our ammo let's see how that's doing because today I want to kind of go to the moon. Uh, do we have enough fuel? 
Okay, so the rest of the ammo is made. I made 3,000 rounds. Actually, let's, um, let's make some more fuel. And what are we going to need? Do we need another drill? We've got nine biofuel. <coughs> hmm. It's probably not a bad idea to make another drill, too, just in case, right? Is one going to last me? It might. Should I should be able to do the nine biofuel with that. So my objective is pretty much cobalt <laughs> at this point. Uh, that's all I can't get on the planet, and I need it for my T2 drill. I need it for a bunch of other stuff. I need it to make better thrusters. And Actually, I think if I get enough, I'll probably just... <laughs> I'll probably multi-tool the uh, the uh, the clunky SV that I built outside down and and spawn in a slightly better one. Now I'm just going to say slightly better, but it's it's better thrusters anyway. So uh, okay, so while that's going, let's get this stuff loaded and we'll get some food. So I think they fixed the thing where you can now look into the uh, you can look into your cockpit. Um, hmm, that might be a problem. So let's fill that. So we're going to have to, oh, let's fill all there. Uh, geez, do we have more O2? Did we make more? We've got a lot of water. We can make a whole bunch. Darn, I thought I had some. Maybe not. Nope. Um, huh. Okay. Well, I guess, uh, I guess, you know what, I'm going to, I'm just going to stop that and reduce this down a couple here. Because I need O2. I thought I was ready, folks. I'm so not ready. Uh, so we need a bottle, the big bottles here. So let's do... And that'll be 20. That should do us. And okay. Uh, I think while that's spinning up, we can go take a look. Let's 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 go fly around the planet and discover what we can. So let's grab some food. And we can come back for the oxygen later. But we'll grab um, we just need a little bit. We'll grab these uh, energy bars. Who cares? They're just going to go in the fridge in the in the SV anyway. Okay, so um, actually, you know what? The fuel will be done on that one anyway. So we might as well just grab that. We can. We'll come back for the O2. Got to remember the O2 because we'll suffocate if we don't. Okay. So, let's go. Now I added an extra couple RCS, so it should be a little more maneuverable. Yes, it feels much better now, but it's not super jerky, so it should be fairly easy to aim and shoot so let's see there's that critter right there well let's get these loaded and we'll just come in and insto kill it wow they're worth huge xp I might as well grab the meat anyway, right? So let's level off. And then let's see if my drone's going to work for us here. Well, oh, wow. Oh, right, because I had the, uh, <laughs> just popped me up on the top. That's kind of funny. Drone. Oh. Yeah, it's bugged. Oh, we're going to have a tough time. 
trying to <sighs> we might not be going to the moon then um, we might try and find the Titan because maybe I can get lucky and find an EVA an EVA boost on the Titan so let's let's hmm where do we think we haven't been to it looks like we haven't been over here so let's Let's put some waypoints. And where are those? 9 and 13k? Okay, let's go. So, the world is so much bigger now that it's hard to fly around on the HV. Well, the lighting on the trees is kind of weird. Not really sure what's going on with that. Huh. Not really sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. It's kind of like it, it lights up and then it doesn't. So I'm not not sure what's flashing like that. The trees are flashing like Christmas trees. When your spotlights hit them. It's a little weird. So we really haven't discovered much in the way of POIs on this planet. Even though that this should have double the amount of the previous um, play field so yeah I mean I found a couple of nasty ones stayed away from them and that was in the HV I did find actually mind you here let me just level off and I'm going to show you on my map so where is it there's a defense one that's a nasty one don't want to do that I came across where is it? Is this it here? The rate no, that's a nasty one. Don't one it's this, this unknown helix. Another defense one. And alien tower. So I'm thinking we'll fly around the world. Head down there. Keep going across. So I have, I've, I think I've been across here on the HV because I did do a complete circle of the planet on the HV, kind of on the equator or kind of all over the place because I was, I was trying to avoid like stuff. So, um, and now that the CV has some defenses on it, I'm not so afraid of shooting down drones. The reason I was afraid of shooting down drones is the replacements come, they fly over the CV and blow up the CV, but now the CV has some defenses. So let's, what was that again? Defense one, abandoned reactor and vehicle port. So that's, that's nasty, but abandoned reactor. To get to the abandoned reactor, I'm gonna ha have to take out the vehicle port. And defense one, okay, so. Radar station, so we did find some stuff so I think once we hit that we'll, we'll go up to here and then head across here actually we'll go check out we'll we'll go check out the uh, the helix why not Okay, because I, I don't really know what it is, so now a lot of stuff behind me, really, wow, because we're going to cross the line, that's why. Okay, that's fine. Let's go, let's go this way. We'll cross the line when we cross the line. Looks like we won't cross the, the borderline for 10k or so, so 
or further because that other one out there is 11 and a half K so maybe 12 K or more but once we hit the last marker we're just gonna keep flying until we hit it that's the only way to cross over because you can't you can't go after your markers because they flip around behind you So, maybe if we get lucky, we'll come across some more resources that aren't um, guarded by POIs, because that seems to be kind of unlucky right now. Much easier to travel in an SV, I, I tell ya. <laughs> it's, it's like night and day. Speaking of, we're gonna catch the day eventually. We're actually moving faster than the planet. Just wanna get the marker. Whoa, clip, not, nope, not, uh, you didn't see that. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to gauge how close you are to things. Just saying. I'm not sure if I have to be really close to discover stuff. I don't think so. I don't have to be super low. I shouldn't have to. Uh, it'd be nice if it, uh, you know, if day would kind of pop out here any second. Seems I'm barely, I'm kind of just skating beside it here. I'm slowly catching the daylight. <coughs> Haven't revealed one freaking thing. That could be an issue with this game, Amy. It's just, just endless land with nothing on it I mean yeah great the planets are a lot bigger but I think we still need maybe some more resources and more POIs maybe like double because the space the spaces are vast and and, and yeah I mean I'm thinking I'm I've missed like a cluster of POI somewhere that's, oh, what's that over there? Is that something? No? Okay. Uh, we'll uh, do it that way without crashing into the uh, <laughs> mountain. Well, sun's gonna rise. We're gonna fly into the sunrise. That's pretty cool. Catch the sun. Or we're not flying into the sunrise. We're kind of making our sunrise. <laughs> we're making the sunrise. We're creating an artificial sunrise from the west. <clears throat> Did I not get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we just keep heading west. Just straight west at this point. And we will flip any second. The stuff is going to flip around in front of us. 
all of our waypoints are going to flip into the in front of us. Come on. There we go. Okay, so now we look for the closest one. It looks like it's over here. Just a bunch of rocks. I haven't even discovered a deposit yet. Wow, this is really... <sighs> Lots of nothing but land. I guess it's good for hunting and space for building, but wow. Oh, okay. So, I see something coming up there. What is that? What is that? That looks like the drone base. Oh my goodness, is that the drone base? Let's let's just sneak a little closer. Did I find the drone base? Did I find the drone base? I think I found the drone base. I did indeed find the drone base. Whoa, hey! Come on now. Is, is that any way to treat your neighbor? Really? <sighs> Kids these days. Um... You know what? I'm going to mark that. Absolutely. Make it a waypoint. So that now... Okay, I'm going to take that one away, though. <laughs> I don't need to get close enough to that to remove it, because, uh, good enough. Um, well, that's interesting. I'm wondering... Okay, well that's good. Now I know where the drone base is. Now I know where the drone base is. So now if the camo shack is in between myself and the drone base when I kill something, I gotta be worried. Because then the replacement will actually go right over my 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 uh my cv try and get close enough to try and reveal anything over here because usually you'd think a drone base would be protecting something right oh weapon bunker let's back the hell off of that yeah Okay. Weapon bunker. Interesting. And it was low, but it shot at me. It shot at me. They're not playing nice. Okay. Okay, so let's... Oh, the sun is really making it hard to glare from the sun. It's really making it hard to see. That's cool. A couple little islands there. Might be a good spot for a base, eh? Once I kill the drone base. If I kill the drone base before... Um, I have to wipe because of a, a new release that uh, nukes things or nukes my save or or changes the game so radically that it's worth uh, redoing it. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Another vehicle port. Okay. Jeez. 
Okay, well, I am finding a lot more POIs now. Okay, let's go around it. I can't see any. I can't see any others. They're really buried in the trees, eh? That's kind of cool. I like that. I like that. You can't really... They don't stick out. Until you're, like, right up to them. By then, they're shooting at you. See, it's just gone now. You can't even see where it is. That's very cool. That's very cool. Oh, Prometheum. Oh yeah, but that's that's too close to that base. It's a good deposit too, 862. Okay, well, these are all things that uh, I could p potentially exploit in the future. So let's head over to the new marker and then we'll check out the uh, unknown helix. And then maybe head over to the alien tower. So all of these POIs are going to be, well, except for, you know, things like the vehicle port power station and comp center and all that sort of stuff is it's rehash stuff but that's fine nothing wrong with that the more the merrier people playing this game for the first time is all going to be new to them right absolutely man this planet is just huge now eh Just huge. I think that's the, the only thing we're going to get to do today is really explore. I didn't think it was going to be just so, so massive of a planet that it would take like an entire episode to, to like fly around. <clears throat> I didn't realize that how, that's how long it took me. Or it must have taken me forever on my, I must have been checking it out for like an hour and a half or so. That's crazy. And my HV too. Most of it at night. <laughs> for some reason. Like usual, right? Right? Isn't it whenever you're going out to explore, it's at night? And then, uh, you know, when you're crafting, it's all during the day. Yeah. Seems to be how it works. Okay, well, we, we did uncover a bunch more stuff, so that's cool. not a lot of deposits though so this is kind of a trippy thing it it has no exterior defenses that I know of I got right up to it and um, it wasn't shooting at me so unless it's got something higher up that it can shoot at this thing with I guess we'll find out I don't I don't even know what it is I think it's just a piece of art like literally I think it does nothing we could try walking up it though it looks like we could walk up the outer rings right what do you think is that crazy is that a crazy thought yeah it is kind of crazy yeah I, I don't think I can walk up that I don't really see any need to. I If anything it's going to be on the bottom. So let's let's land here. See if we can explore, get out and explore. 
we'll land right beside it. That way we can jump up into it. Yeah, now hopefully nothing comes along and kills my SV. We'll keep it running. Let's equip a gun. I just don't trust this. Oh, you know what? I should have put this in the fridge, shouldn't I have? Now it's spoiling on me. Now let's eat a couple. I got all these blocks on me. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I don't see anything back. I... No. No, my drone's just not going to work today, I bet. Darn. That's a shame. Be nice when they fix that. think there's anything up here. Should I really try? I don't know. Should I dig underneath it? I just don't know. Should I try blowing up the... You know what? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> it's red. It's an enemy. Right? 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 This looks like a viable place for a door. Right? Let's make one. Okay, not quite. Um, maybe higher, one block higher, right? That makes more sense. No. No, there's no little chamber in there. Well, let's see. We'll shoot that block out too. And Is that just the core? Is that just the core? Is that just the core? That might be just the core. A generator and stuff. Yeah. You know what? The, uh, this would. I could multi tool this down, I guess. Huh. Yeah, let's. Let's grab what bits it's got then. Might as well. This thing isn't going to land flat, is it? Why isn't it landing flat? Come on. Here, let's do. Let's back into it because I've got this thing built so that I can back into stuff. So let's do that. Let's straighten her out. And then, oops, not very straight, but that's okay. Let's go like this. Okay. Make sure nothing's coming look like it. Uh, I don't necessarily see the core. We'll jump in there. Hopefully I don't get shot or something. There's fuel tanks there. Any critters? Oh, is that something over there? No. No. Okay. I don't want to get too close. I'll get too hot. Ugh. I don't know where the core is. I don't see it. I don't see the core. Um, should we like destroy the generator? I don't really want to, but no, oh, what the hell.
It looks like I'm doing damage. It's getting all wonky shaped. Yep. Okay. So no generator. Uh, don't really want to blow everything up, but now hurt myself. Darn it! Didn't think I'd get myself from a whole square away. Oh well, has a bigger blast radius, and well, the core's not here. Huh? Okay. That sucks. What the heck's going on there? That was weird. Looks like I was stuck on my light. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't... I, You know what? Let's not mess around with it anymore. We're, there, I, I don't think there's any loot or anything. We're just wasting our time with this thing. I guess if I had... If I did destroy the core, then... Then I guess... Um... Now I'm thinking the core is like up there or something, right? Is that it right there? Yep. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'll go multi-tool that later. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So there was also the... Uh, alien Spire. Where was that? Aliens? No, that's Defense 1. Alien Tower. That's it. Let's go check this out. Let's go check this out. I gotta find the Titan pieces too, apparently. I, I have yet to find any of the Titan wreck. So I'm gonna fly around for that too. Show for POIs. Well, they have made it way more of a survival start to the to the game, where the the starting planet is just kind of um, lots of barren areas and, and just big expanse of nothingness. <laughs> that may change in the future, I'm sure, but I mean, that's what real planets are like too, though, right? You know, so. It's got some realism to it. I must admit, it looks it looks good. It looks good. In these mountains, these these rolling foothills are a lot easier on an uh, an HV to fly around on. So I think this alien tower was intended to be the. Robson protocol thing. I'm not sure if there's any loot or anything in it. Um, from what I remember, there really isn't. But we'll go check it out. We'll go check it out. It probably won't activate for us at all because we're we don't have the uh, we don't have the mission activated. So is this? There's no defenses on it? No. Okay, so... So I wonder if I should just shoot out the... <laughs> I don't even know if anything's going to work for me. don't know. I'd like to find out what's up in there though. There's probably some loot boxes or something, right? Huh. 
Uh, I hear switches going on and off. That's not a good thing. Hmm. Do we want to mess with this thing? It's not our mission. It's not really our mission. Is there any critters about? Not really. Is it going to spawn critters? Maybe. Checking for, oh, see there's an explosive block. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's an explosive block right there. That's interesting. Why is there an explosive block right there? One, one explosive block. Huh. Can we do something about that? Not sure. Oh wow, it took damage. Okay, so I can... So this is just like regular steel blocks. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I don't have a ton of ammo. Um, not really sure if I want to do this, but I do want to get loot. So let's try. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. What's this going to do? Did you hear that? That is creepy as hell. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this now. <laughs> Steel block. Steel block. See, I'm going to get trapped. I know I'm going to get trapped and then regret it and die. I know I'm going to. I just know it. Steel block. You can't even get up there. Are those elevators? No. No. I just saw that. Uh, uh, what am I going to do? Do I kill myself? Do I try it? Am I going to regret this? I am absolutely going to regret this, aren't I? Can I see what's going on down there? Huh. That's trippy. <laughs> I can just kill the core, I guess. Oh, it's a switch of some sort. Yeah, see, it won't activate because I'm not on the... I'm not on the quest, so I gotta kill the core, I guess. And then multi tool my way out of here. Okay. Oh, that's too bad. Or, you know, just walk out, because, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's all broken now. <sighs> oh. 
I'm a bad person. So does that mean there's no loot? Really? Meh. So this was just quest only thing. Okay, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I guess there's nothing. Okay. That sucked. Um, we need to find the Titan. We need to find the Titan parts. It's got to be up in these mountains or something, right? Where I just, where I wasn't going. So let's try, let's try here. We'll keep going. Looks like it didn't go down there. Or did I? Did I come up from there? Now I can't even remember. Um, it's probably going to be in there, right? Is that the radar station? It's probably going to be here or something. Well, let's go check out what we marked. It's too bad my drone isn't working because I could multi-tool the top part of this and, and see if it... Uh, oh. Huh. I could probably stand on my... Let's do this. Let's just fly right up to it. Straighten out. Oops. And jump up and turn our light on. Because now that there's no core, Uh, there's probably nothing. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Ah, too bad. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing. Nope. Nope. Ah, poopy. <sighs> oh, well. Oh well, I'm not gonna multi-tool this thing down on uh, on video. I guess maybe I'll do a. I could do a, like a. I could just fast forward through the whole thing and and uh, do that as a. Nah, that's boring. <laughs> Why? Oh come on, Titan. I really need the Titan at this point. I need to be able to loot something so that I can get out of my vehicle in space. So that I can go mining in space. If not, we might just fly to the moon anyway and give it a give it a go. Although this episode is almost over. So it's probably going to have to wait till next episode. I think what I'll do is I'll just... Yeah, this is crazy, eh? How long this this uh, this episode has been just trying to... Like, I haven't even finished mapping out the planet yet. Whole freaking episode, and I still haven't even mapped out the planet. That's pretty crazy. Hmm. I guess I could time lapse and just keep going, but personally, um, I'm running out of time. That's the problem. It's not that necessarily it's going to be too long, because I guess I could time lapse it, and I might have to, because this is just too huge.
some quaint little valleys and stuff that not much in here this is like a dry barren tundra almost it seems on these mountains and oh, I avoided I avoided smashing into the mountain I'm so awesome okay let's just swing over here a little bit Oh, such a huge area to uncover. I'm really impressed with how large the... Uh, oh, there's an iron deposit. That's good. Good, good. I can't remember where the other guys and the other YouTubers found their wrecks, if they're in the mountains or flat, and because it's different seeds, I don't think it's going to matter so much. Okay, so I've been here before. I've already uncovered an iron ore there. So that means, let's head back to my markers. Wow, this is not the most exciting episode. I'm so sorry, guys. I was expecting a little bit more. Uh, but I just under... Um, underappreciated how vast the planets now are. They are much, much, much larger. <laughs> it's not even close not even close and I can't wait to go check out other planets so that's that's another reason why I kind of just I didn't want to go around and and loot every POI on the planet I just kind of wanted to go and discover them and get enough cobalt to <clears throat> Uh, make an SV that can warp and then get some better minerals to take the uh, camo shack the CV camo shack into space and then so that we can take it around and explore the other new planets well I think once we reach this marker here I'm going to call the episode and uh, I'll probably continue to fly around and try discovering stuff. I really, 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 really want to find the the Titan parts. And I don't even know. I don't. I can't even begin to. I guess I'll just keep flying through here. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, at this point, I think it's all the mountains I gotta check out now, because I think that's where I, I avoided a lot of the mountains on the HV, right? So, let's do that. Okay. So, I've got another path for myself to follow and I will do that off screen. Well guys, uh, we, we did uncover some, we, and we did check out two POI, neutral POIs, that probably the only two neutral POIs on the planet. Uh, and I can off screen go multi-tool those now too, so, so yeah, that's okay. Um, well, except for the helix, I'm not really sure about that. 
Oh wait, no, I did kill that. Yeah, that was at the 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 core was in the the top spire. That's funny. Anyway, um, if you like this episode, give me a like. If uh, if you didn't hate the episode, give me a like. <laughs> if uh, you want to know when the next episode is published, make sure that you've subscribed and turn your notifications on. Okay then, uh, until the next episode, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.